Welcome! You're joining Teacher Caroline's class. Enjoy! Hello there everyone. I hope you are well today. For more exciting teaching and learning, here with us today, a knowledgeable science teacher who could help us in this lesson. Listen carefully and later I'm going to ask you some questions. Here we go! Hey there everyone! I know you are so excited today. So let us start. Our topic today is describing the mode of reproduction in butterflies. Exciting, right? So let's have it. What insects are shown in the picture? Do you say butterflies? You are correct. Aren't they beautiful? Next question. Where do you usually see butterflies? And if you said in the garden, around the flowers, or just around your house, you are all correct. Now, this time, let us watch the video of the life cycle of a butterfly. Let's bear with me, but here we go. Like all butterflies, the monarch's life cycle consists of a series of changes called metamorphosis. Life begins as a tiny egg about the size of a sesame seed. The female monarch lays hundreds of such eggs, usually on the underside of leaves. Within a few days, the baby caterpillar begins squirming. It's ready to hatch. First, it chews a hole in the side on the shell. For several minutes, it gradually widens the hole. Finally, the infant monarch emerges into the world. Just two millimeters long, it's small enough to fit on the head of a pin. This newborn returns to snack on the nutrient-rich shell. But soon, it's off in search of its main diet, milkweed leaves. Young caterpillars are virtual eating machines. As they quickly grow, they shed their skin several times. Each shedding marks the start of a new life stage, called an instar. The caterpillar prepares to shed its skin one more time by searching the underside of a twig. Firmly attached to the twig, the monarch begins pupation, shedding its caterpillar clothes for the last time. The pupa, as it is now called, takes several minutes to wriggle free. Its plant-like appearance may help protect it from predators during its final metamorphosis. Motionless for about one and a half weeks, the pupa undergoes a wondrous transformation. Time-lapse photography reveals the exquisite colors of the monarch's long form. Its final metamorphosis accomplished. The new butterfly emerges. A 
First, the monarch's beams are quite small. But over the next half hour or so, fluids are pumped into the wings, expanding them to their full size. Finally, the monarch is ready to take to the air for the first time. The adult monarch will spend its life feeding on nectar from flowers and reproducing, beginning the life cycle once again. Alright! Isn't it exciting? That was beautiful! Now, let us answer the following questions after watching the video of the life cycle of the butterfly. 1. How does reproduction in butterflies begin? A. By mating B. By egg laying C. By molting If you said A. By mating, you are correct. Question number 2. What happens to the fertilized egg? It becomes a. An adult butterfly B. Pupa C. Larva Did you say A. Adult butterfly? Sorry, but that is wrong. Pupa? No. Larva? Yes, that's letter C. Now, let's have the third question. In what place does a butterfly usually lay eggs? A. Flower B. Leaf C. Branch Did you say B. Leaf? Then you are right. Well done! Let's have the fourth question. What provides food for the egg when they become butterflies? A. Branch B. Flower C. Leaf Did you say C. Leaf? And you are right. Now let's have another one here. And this is sequencing event. I know you are very good at this. Let's have this vibration. Sequence the following stages in correct order to show the reproduction of a butterfly. Number your answers from 1 to 5. Let's read them all from A to E. A. Then, the male and female butterflies are ready to mate. B. Once the female's eggs are fertilized, she lays eggs on different plants. C. The male butterfly deposits sperm into the female butterfly. D. Reproduction in butterflies begins with courtship. E. The plants will provide food for the eggs when they become caterpillars. Now let's check. Which sentence or idea should come first? Let's see. Did you say D? Yes, it starts with reproduction in butterflies, begins with courtship. And which do you think is number two? Did you say A? Yes, that's right. Then the male and female butterflies are ready to make. Now, which one is the third idea? Do you say B, C, or E? Okay, you check your answer. The next is letter C. Who said letter C? You are good, that's correct. The male butterfly deposits sperm into the female butterfly. Now, we have two choices for the fourth idea. What's your answer for number four? Did you say 
B, then you are correct. B, once the female's eggs are fertilized, she lays eggs on different plants. And obviously, our last sentence in the sequence would be letter E. The plant will provide food for the eggs when they become caterpillars. Now, I do hope that you remember these thoughts or ideas. And for practical applications of concepts and skills in your daily living, I have this question. Why are butterflies important in our ecosystem? Don't worry, you are not going to answer me today, but you just have to write your answer in your notebook. And that is for your teacher, Caroline, to check. But we have another question. What have you learned from the lesson? And you simply start with the words, I learned that, hmm, I know you're excited, but again, you write your answer and teacher Caroline, or perhaps your parents will help you check your answer. Beautiful butterflies, right? Now, let me call back your teacher to give you some evaluation. Teacher Caroline, you, the floor is yours again. Okay, thank you very much, Teacher Joe. And now I'm going to check if you understand our lesson or not. So let's check if you've learned something. Okay, here are the questions. What happens during the mating process of male and female butterfly? A. The eggs of the female butterfly are developed. B. The eggs of the female butterfly are fertilized. C. The male butterfly provides food for the female butterfly. And D. The male butterfly deposits sperm into the female butterfly. So what's the answer? Okay, it's letter D. The male butterfly deposits sperm into the female butterfly. And here is the other question. Why do animals reproduce? A. To make new animals. B. Obligation to the species. C. To get rid of unhealthy animals. And D. To get food from you. What's your answer? Okay, it's letter A. Good job. And now, we finish our lesson. But here's your assignment. Write a two stanza poem about the mood of reproduction of butterflies. And that assignment will be checked by me tomorrow. Okay? Teacher Joe, say goodbye to our pupils. All right, little scientist. I know you enjoyed our time together. So, hope to see you next time. Goodbye and God bless.